Welcome to our deep dive into fine-tuning neural networks. Today, we're tackling a question that many machine learning enthusiasts encounter. Why is my VGG16 model in Keras showing low accuracy after fine-tuning? Our viewer has shared their journey of fine-tuning a VGG16 model for a dogs versus cats classification task. They followed a specific sequence of actions, but despite their efforts, the model's accuracy has plummeted to around 50%. The user suspects that something might be off with their parameters, such as learning rate or batch size. Let's explore their process and see where improvements can be made to boost that accuracy. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Let's get started. Let's begin by understanding the issue with the VGG16 model fine-tuning process. The model's accuracy has drastically dropped to around 50% after training for 50 epochs. First, we should check the learning rate. A learning rate that is too high can cause the model to converge poorly, while a learning rate that is too low can lead to slow convergence. Next, let's consider the batch size. A small batch size can lead to noisy gradient estimates, while a large batch size may not generalize well. Experimenting with different batch sizes can help find the optimal setting. Additionally, ensure that the data augmentation techniques are applied correctly. This can help improve the model's ability to generalize by exposing it to a wider variety of training examples. Finally, consider unfreezing some of the earlier layers of the VGG16 model. This allows the model to adapt more to the specific features of your dataset, potentially improving accuracy. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The issue with your VGG16 fine-tuning is that your fully connected layers differ significantly from the original architecture. First, the last layer should use a two-class softmax instead of sigmoid. This affects how accuracy is calculated. Second, the complexity of your model seems too low, with fewer neurons and layers than the original. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To improve accuracy with VGG16 in Keras, this user managed to reach 70% by adjusting the learning rate and increasing the number of epochs. The user provided a code snippet for fine-tuning the model, which includes generating bottleneck features and training a top model. They also mentioned that while they achieved a decent accuracy, there is potential to reach up to 98% with better fine-tuning techniques. And that's it, guys. I hope you found 
the answer that you're looking for and got to that resolution in the end. If you did, please take a moment, hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. Until the next time you need more technical videos, I hope you have a great day. Cheers.